I'm not a lawyer, so you should take all of this not as legal advice, but exactly as it is your fellow songwriter on YouTube who's done some research on this. Not a lawyer, not actual legal advice. But if you've been wondering, can I steal a drum beat, especially in this world where there are so many different legal battles over songs and accusations of copyright infringement and stealing songs, can you steal a drum beat? The short answer is yes. And that's because copyrights mostly have to do with lyrics and melody and certainly also harmony to some extent as well, but less so because even chord progressions, for example, the all too common one, five, six, four, you can't copyright that, right? If you could, then half of pop songs would be screwed and then there would only be one song with that. And soon we'd run out of chord progressions, frankly. So you can't copyright chord progressions either. So really most of what copyright is, is the combination of lyrics and melody. And certainly drum beat is even considered less copyrightable in general than even the harmony. And if you think about it, this really does make sense given how simple drum beats can be, especially if you think of things like four to the floor. If that was something that was copyrightable, then again, probably half of pop music would be screwed. Now, of course, just because you can steal a drum beat doesn't mean you should if Jeff Goldblum taught us anything in Jurassic Park. So just because you can take a drum beat and you probably could even get away with taking a more intricate drum beat and using it exactly, you probably should not do this. Now, if you're doing a very simple drum beat that is maybe something that would be used in EDM that's just sort of convention for the genre, that's probably different, right? Because a ton of different songs use that. It's not really necessarily a creative drum beat so much as it is something that has a purpose, it has a utility. But you probably shouldn't go around stealing something like the drums from the song Tom Sawyer or something, where it's a little more complex and has more to it, is more distinctive. Instead, we should strive to maybe take influence from different drum beats that we like, that have grooves that we enjoy and would like to have in our own songs, but to actually craft our own from there, sort of get a basic idea of what they're doing as far as the basic rhythm of it, but not steal exactly what they're doing on the drums because that's not what we want to be, right? We don't want to steal anything, even if it is something that is so conventional that it's not, doesn't seem like a big deal. Like, for example, again, four to the floor. Of course, in that case, you know, what else are you going to do? Just have one slightly off beat so that you can say that it's different? Like, no, it, it exists for a reason. It's basic. You can take that. Nobody invented that really. I mean, I guess somebody did at some point. But like with everything else, you should use your judgment with this. And while it may be something that you might not actually get sued over, we still should try to do the right thing. And the right thing is generally to try not to just steal a drum beat, unless again, it's something super simplistic and something that is just a convention for a genre. If it's more intricate, don't just steal it, take inspiration from it. But hey, at least now you know that, yeah, you don't have to worry about like, oh, has this drum beat been done before? Am I going to get sued? The answer to that is almost definitely no. So now that you know you're not going to get sued over your drum beat and you want to write the rest of your song, be sure to check out my free guide on the 10 different ways to start writing a song because I think it's really important in songwriting to not start our songs the same way every time with the same instrument, with the same methodology, because then our songs sometimes can start to sound the same and we're losing out on different creative paths that we wouldn't get if we just use the same instrument over and over and over again. Instead, it's important to sometimes visit different instruments or try to write different parts first. For example, if you've never tried writing a song by just writing a cool bass line first, you should try that. It might result in a very different song for you that you really, really enjoy. It might reinvigorate your creativity. And we're talking about drum beats here. Maybe you never really did drum beats until towards the end of your song. I found that one of the best ways to be able to write a catchy song specifically is to actually start with the drum beat. Because at least for me, I don't know about you, but for me, it is something that doesn't really come natural to me to write a catchy song. If I'm to sit at a piano or a guitar, usually what comes out is more of a ballad, a very emotional type song. But when I write a drum beat first, that is catchy. Even if it's really basic, that can be a great way to inspire me into writing a more catchy song that otherwise doesn't come natural to me. So trying to write songs in different ways, starting from a lyrical standpoint or a musical standpoint can be really helpful. So be sure to check that out. It gives you five ways from a lyrical standpoint, five ways from a musical standpoint. So whether you want to start with lyrics or music, there'll be at least five ways for you. I recommend you try both. I used to be a lyrics first person, but now I actually have transitioned into being more of a music first person person, 
Both can work, so be sure to try them both. Give them both a good shot before you dedicate yourself to just being one or the other or eventually become more of a mix of the two because who said you have to do the writing of either one first every time? Nobody. Or maybe somebody, but you don't have to listen to whoever told you that. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. My free gift to you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I'll talk to you in the next one.